It all starts with one piece, one sample. I'm gonna be digging through huge buckets and pails of gemstones. This is what Tucson's all about. We meet the miner, find out where it came from, and then we go from there. This is better than a tray of chocolate. There's so much energy here. I know so many people that the Tucson Gem event is on their bucket list. And so we can actually bring that Tucson Gem experience to everybody at home. And hey, if you can't get to the Tucson Gem event, we're gonna bring Tucson right to your very own door. Welcome in everyone, my name is Sarah Anderson. Our Tucson Gem event continues and we're headed to the Southwest. In fact, you're gonna experience the very best of these handmade, handcrafted, artisanal designs that are made from the Native American tribes in Chaco Canyon. We have tons of turquoise, gorgeous amounts of silver work to talk about, and Jennifer Wan will be my guest to take you on this tour of these amazing, incredible, unique, handmade and handcrafted designs. We are celebrating with five flex pay on everything. Jennifer, are you excited to be here? Yes. It's so wonderful to have you. We're gonna hear so many great stories and traditions. And in the meantime, I'm going to wet your whistle for Chaco Canyon with this beautiful Southwest turquoise cuff bracelet. This has been very, very popular, this event. Look at the event price here today, $379.90. It is over $100 off our regular price. There are fewer than 50 of these to go around and enjoy those five flexible payments of $76.98. Look at the incredible intricate silver work. You have the scallop designs, you have the star shapes, and you have a brilliant, glorious center stone. Uh, that is off the charts at 36 by 24 millimeters. So a true wonderful way to dive right in to explore these wonderful, incredible designs that have really been passed down from generation to generation. We're continuing the traditions and the spirits and the wonderful culture of the Southwest. We have another great ring I want you to see a little early because it is absolutely fabulous. I love this. It almost looks like two waves. Isn't this pretty? You have a wonderful intricate bypass design with 16 different pear-shaped stones. Isn't that brilliant and blue and mesmerizing? It's our 16 stone ring. It's at the event price of $119.90. Isn't that beautiful and elongating on the finger? But if you do one thing today, I wanna to introduce you to my pick of the show. Here it is. It's a three stone design, always a classic, always timeless with these brilliant, gorgeous Kingman blue turquoise stones. They're east, west and they're setting. You have three of them. You have the beautiful separated band that tapers in the back. It's also gonna be one of our all time best offers, best values of the entire show. It's under $100. So if you wanna try Chaco Canyon for the very first time, if you wanna experience what this incredible brand has to offer, uh, jump right in. We'd also love to hear from you. So give us a call. Uh, our testimonial number is available for you. And if you do have any Native American heritage, perhaps uh, you can call in and share some of your stories and traditions. Or if you don't know about some of the wonderful history and spirituality of the Native American jewelry designers. You'll get to experience that all today with Jennifer Wan, who's going to be representing all the artisans that make Chaco <laughs> Canyon come alive. Welcome back, Jennifer. So good to see you. Thank you, same with you. <laughs> well, I love your collection, and each and every one of these pieces has a wonderful story. So we'll begin with the very first cuff in the hour. This is a five stone cuff, and you'll see here today it's at a new low price, now $100 off our regular price. So we're down to $289.90. And I have two samples in front of me, and that's to show you that no two designs look exactly alike. In fact, no two pieces of genuine turquoise are going to look exactly alike. They'll each have their unique fingerprint. You'll get to experience all the natural characteristics that you love about the Kingman Mine. And each one of these will have five different stones. You're going to have the largest stone in the center, and then you'll have each of the two border stones and then two of the smaller stones as it graduates in size all the way around. You're gonna just be so impressed with the amount of silver work that's done here. And all of these 
are handmade with a lot of the time-honored techniques and traditions, oh, Jennifer, yes. that go back many years, right? A lot of the artisans come from a big silversmithing family, and um, for Susanna, she has been taught by many different members of her family, especially uh, her co-workers as well. They all work together as one unit, and as you can see here, the uh, the workmanship that she has there is uh, is unbelievable, especially all the 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 work of the the hand cutting, you know, the hand bezel setting, and especially the way the stones are set you know no two stones would be alike and each stone is in itself a, a single a fingerprint with to her isn't that wonderful that's so beautiful I love I love that story and when you see that design maybe it evokes images to you as well maybe you see the feather or maybe you see a leaf but the centerpiece of the stone is definitely the kingman turquoise tell us how yes. important that is to the tribes that these for pieces. for turquoise, actually, it's called the the father stone, the sky stone. It's a the male represent male representation, and um, for the sky stone, it's supposed to protect you when when a baby is born. You're supposed to give a piece of turquoise or turquoise jewelry to uh, the baby so they can be protected. Uh, for me and myself, I still have my rings since I was a baby, and um, so that uh, could be passed down. You know, when, in, within my generation, I've had rings that have been given to me from my great grandmother that still look like this to this day. Really? Mm -hmm. So something that will be passed down from generation to generation. And then you see this brilliant blue color too. And that's also what the Kingman mine is famous for. Uh, different with, with the... the uh, it also looks like the Sleeping Beauty turquoise too as well. They have different uh, colors of turquoise that range from, from the, bling, the blue, the greens, you know, you can have like a, the lighter gorgeous. browns. And so they're, they're just in its, uh, unique in its own mm. sense, each and every piece of turquoise. And look at how big these stones are. I, I can't wait for you to get this home. You're going to be so impressed. Look at the size of that center stone. Uh, that is off the charts. It's going to be over one inch in length. Just the center stone on its own, a 26 by 14 millimeter. Then you have a 20 by 10 millimeter and then you have an 18 by 9 millimeter it's all framed in genuine solid sterling silver and you're going to see sterling silver throughout the entire collection this is not a base metal this is not a mixed metal this is 925 sterling silver so you're getting a precious noble metal you're getting the most reflective precious metal in the world so it's always going to have this beautiful glimmer and shine it's a perfect pairing with the turquoise wouldn't you agree jennifer yes and and especially when you uh, look at it, it each piece of turquoise doesn't have to necessarily look like each other. I've had pieces that I've had for a long time that looks like uh, the newer styles of turquoise, and they say turquoise changes over time. They changes it changes with your body, and so uh, it sh uh, for the designers they say that uh, when you see a piece of turquoise in in a, a setting that you like, that it's meant for you, and so that's calling out to you. And we do have two sizes for you. We have the small medium, which is gonna fit up to a six and a half inch wrist. And we have the medium large, which fits up to a seven and a quarter inch wrist. If you do want the medium large, it will be the first to go. These are all handcrafted. They're so amazing. If you love museum quality, if you love artisanal quality, uh, this is a fascinating look at one of your artisans who's doing some of those time-honored techniques. Um, actually, he was cutting out different pieces that he stamped out. And uh, just looking at that, he it was just like second nature. And and um, I was asking them, you know, what you know, what you love about making jewelry. They say it's uh, making someone happy. You know, it's expressing their feelings through their uh, art artistry. You know, giving it to another person. Oh, I love that. That's, that it's it is some incredible amount of love mm -hmm. and passion that go into all these pieces. Because a piece of their soul pieces. goes into it, and it's you know, it's given to you. A little, a little piece of their soul. I love that. I mean, they are really brilliant designs. And know that each one of these rings, it's like having a custom-owned piece of jewelry. It's like having a one-of-a-kind. Uh, this next ring is no exception. Uh, if you love silver and if you love turquoise and if you want something absolutely splendid, look at how glamorous and feminine and beautiful this one is. It's here today at our event price of $149.90. This is brand new today, $144.90, excuse me. And already getting five star reviews five star reviews and we haven't even aired it yet and look at how glorious the amount of sterling silver is here and then you have incredible amount of detail that center stone is a 12 by 24 millimeter and that's that beautiful brilliant deep kingman blue turquoise and then around the kingman blue turquoise you have that bezel setting 
and that keeps it very secure. It's all the way around. It even has a little stamping edge, a little extra texture to bring out that wonderful, intriguing interest in detail. And then look at the amount of inscriptions here. You have a beautiful scallop design. You've got the beads. And then I love this, almost like a scroll or a fan design at the ends. Uh, what, for the artist in here, her name is Sadie Jim. She was taught by a different, a, a, other artisans, uh, one uh, to be exact would be uh, G Gerber, Gerber Smith. And um, for her, for, you see the scrolled edges on the side, you, that is a representation of the wind. And the twisted bezel that you see around it is supposed to connect the, the artisan to the wearer because you're buying together in life uh, because that piece was made by, the, by her. And so when you see pieces like that, it could be representation of the mountains and just from what she sees outside and within nature. And so that's what they'll put in their jewelry. And isn't that fascinating? I mean, how long does it take to make a piece of jewelry like this? For a piece, it varies from artisan to artisan. They could make be about maybe five rings a day, or it could be about maybe four. It just depends on the artwork that is on there. So each one literally takes hours. Yes. From so nothing is pumped the out. There, yeah. So you, you have a human actually making this, and not yeah. a machine. So you have a, a bit of, of energy from them, you know, going into it. That's going coming through the package to you. And isn't that why we keep the jewelry of our mothers? That's why we keep the jewelry of our grandmothers. That's why you never throw jewelry away because uh, it instantly has this emotion, this wonderful nostalgia, mm -hmm. that family tradition that you want to share with your future generations. And isn't this something that will be absolutely extraordinary? If you don't own anything like this, uh, please dive right in and give us a call. You can place your order over the phone or you can go online to hsn.com. Uh, there's a great shot of the details and, and, and Laura is here at modeling for us. You can see how brilliant this blue color is. And I, I have to be honest, the, the price does not begin to describe just for the silver work alone, this is solid sterling silver. This is a precious metal. It's been beautifully polished. It's been handmade and then engraved and stamped with the rope twist detail and the beadwork and the scroll design. It's three dimensional, the way that it just lifts and pops right off your finger. I guarantee you that you will not be able to go anywhere without getting compliments on this ring. Do order true to size. We have sizes five all the way through size 12. Look at the amount of silver work here. It's gonna be very, very comfortable. See how it tapers? So it's gonna nestle right between your fingers. And then you do really like a, a huge empowering piece. It's like a shield. <laughs> does, it, does it give you a sense of confidence when, when you wear yes. a big piece of jewelry? Actually, uh, my, my great grandmother, she used to say ring, rings wonderful. like this make you uh, an honest person, it's, so to speak, because if you have your hands in a fist, that means you're hiding something. And so when you have your hands outward, you know, you're being more true to yourself and true to the, to the person that, you know, you're talking to because you're not holding anything back. Mm, I love that. Also, turquoise is your birthstone. That's our December birthstone. And something that I think you're just going to love and cherish for so many years to come. It is a brilliant, splendid specimen of just the Kingman turquoise on its own. And then to have this beautiful, serene setting of the solid sterling silver, it is an outstanding idea to add this to your order today. I would hate for you to miss out on this. I, the appraised value is something you can consider as well. It's been appraised at $300, and that's our most conservative appraisal. And this is something that I honestly think once you slip this on, you're going to say that was meant to be, right? I mean, <laughs> yes. sometimes you see, it's like a pair of shoes. You see it, you know it, you love it. You walk it. around for a bit, then you like, oh, I need that, so you go and get it. <laughs> that's right. If, if you can't take your eyes off this ring, it's probably something <laughs> that maybe was destined to be a part of your collection. And something you're going to be very proud to own. When you own genuine gemstones and solid sterling silver, I don't think you ever regret buying quality. You never regret purchasing something that's handmade and handcrafted. I mean, really, these are almost like one of a kind pieces because no two will look exactly alike, right? No, the, uh, no. the turquoise specimen could be slightly different or the silver uh, Yes, work. and especially with the matrix that you know some, some of it will have, you know, it just brings out the, the true nature of what uh, Mother Nature has given you. I think it's a feast for your eyes and definitely something that I think you'd be absolutely thrilled to get home today. I love this ring. I love how it feels. And Laura, would you say it's pretty comfortable? Like despite, despite the size, like it doesn't flip or spin. 
because it nestles, yeah, right in between your fingers and then Girls, all you need is a manicure, and that ring is gonna rock your world. I think, I think it's just breathtaking. However, if you're not giving us a call or jumping online or maybe get out the app, the HSN app, you can download that on your smartphone or your tablet or your iPhone. Uh, it's a perfect time to treat yourself today. Get home for less than $30. You always have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's never any risk to try it home and uh, get it home and try it on and, and see if it isn't everything that we say it is. I think you're gonna be thrilled. It definitely makes a statement. Now, uh, speaking of making a statement, I'm gonna just slide this down here and I want to give you a real live look. It might be your only look at the <laughs> ceremonial green turquoise necklace. It is here today. Only a select few can jump in on this piece. It is sheets of silver, in fact, four giant ceremonial plates of silver create this beautiful flashy and sparkling backdrop for genuine green turquoise. Look at how pretty that color is. I'm head over heels in love with this piece. It is completely adjustable. You can go from sort of a choker length and it can drop down to over 20 inch length. It's fabulous and a word heart stopping. I just want you to jump right in. It also has VIP financing available as well. So if you want to extend your financing over the next nine months, you can do so on the HSN credit card. And hey, if you don't yet have that HSN credit card, we can instantly get you approved over the phone or online. Uh, this might be your first purchase today. It is hands down one of the most spectacular pieces of the show. Uh, but thanks so much for joining us. It's a big Tucson gem event. Tucson's not far from Chaco Canyon, right? Where the heart it's of... It's actually the, within the next state in Arizona. Right, but Ch it's... It, Chaco Canyon's actually in New Mexico. Yeah, right yeah, over... right next door. Right over the border, <laughs> yeah, isn't that wonderful? And, and you can really see and capture the spirit of the Southwest in a lot of these designs. I'm really, this is a part of the country that's been settled for thousands of years by many oh, yes. indigenous cultures. I've actually been to Chaco Canyon and it's just breathtaking to see the, all the runes and everything else that's out there. Mm -hmm. And isn't it wonderful? I mean, this is something that they've been doing for hundreds of years, working with sterling silver and turquoise. And now we can bring this collection to life exclusively here at HSN. We have this beautiful turquoise pendant here today at our HSN price. Remember, we're also extending your financing over the next next five months. If you want to lock this in, call early. You're getting two bezel set turquoise pieces here. The larger one, 34 by 24 millimeters, and the oval stone above it is 10 by 13 millimeters. These are massive stones. And then look at the oversized, gorgeous amount of solid sterling silver. You see how it's all high polished on the back? And then look at the beautiful scalloped edging that gives it this beautiful feminine romantic touch. The amount of rope detail. I mean, every single one of those sterling silver pieces is still applied by hand, right? Yes. It's still worked with by hand. Just like how you seen the guy before that was cutting it out, he was doing the same thing after he hand stamped it. Uh, the artist in here, his name is Jimson Belen. He, his uncle taught him actually had a silversmith and he was a buffer at first and then transitioned into a silversmith from his uncle and aunt who were, who were actually one of our first uh, silversmiths at Running Bear, our, our sister trading post. And then uh, J Jimson has been silversmithing for over five years and uh, he is, he's becoming a very talented artist. Well, I can say so. And isn't that neat? We actually can tell you each artist by name. Mm -hmm. and, and you've had a chance to meet yes. them and work with them over, how many years now have you been here at HSN? 19. 19 mm -hmm. years. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, we, we really have like a longstanding relationship and, and friendship with some of these artisans. Yes. And they get to see their designs come to life. They do, and I, um, they hear about it on uh, TV. Uh, some of them actually don't really... Uh, get to, to see the, their their artwork on TV, and so when they hear about it through the you know their uh, coworkers and bosses, and they they just they're they're hopeful, they're happy, you know they <laughs> like it. <laughs> well, because we, now they have a, a bigger audience. Yes, and it, maybe you don't have a chance to travel, and if you did, you would, you know, certainly walk into some beautiful shops and museums and certainly a lot of wonderful couture design, art style collector's items, and you, you, would, you would never see anything like this. And if you did, uh, you'd be spending a small fortune here today. Look at the size of that bale. We'll start there and give you a full tour. There's a very generous bale at the top, and you can put that on, whether it's an Omega, we'll talk about the liquid silver it's on in just a moment. That's also engraved. You see a wonderful texture detail. It almost looks like, uh, 
almost like little crescent shapes or little moon shapes. You see how pretty that is? Isn't that lovely? Look how big that wide veil is. And then you can put that on a leather cord or you can put that on a multi-strand or if you have a chain at home. And then it's articulated here so it hinges nicely. And then you have this beautiful drop. Let me measure this for you because I, I want you to imagine uh, how glorious this is going to be when you get it home. It's over three and a half inches top to bottom. So it is also extremely wide as well, about an inch and a half in width. And, and you're gonna feel it, you're gonna, you're gonna know the weight and heft of these pieces mm -hmm. when you get them home. They're solid sterling silver. And especially uh, when you, uh, a piece like this, I, I, I like to say that it's a unisex piece. Uh, throughout the Southwest, I've seen cowboys wear it on their hats uh, and women wear it on their bags and scarves. Yeah, oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's a great idea. I mean, this is just so pretty. That's here today, 612-526. It's the last and final two hours of the visit with Chaco Canyon for Tucson Gem Event. It's our biggest gemstone event of the year. And let me introduce you to, I know one of their fan favorite customer pick items, and that is their liquid silver necklaces. These are so pretty. It flows like water. It shines like sunlight. We have three different lengths for you to choose from. Aren't these beautiful? This is a very affordable way to wear liquid silver. We have the 18 inch, which you see here. We also have it for you in the 24 inch. And then we also have it in the 30 inch, slightly different prices. $79.99, $119.90. They're all on five flexible payments. And each one is hundreds and hundreds of beads of silver that are super flexible. They're lightweight. They're be just a perfect weight for all of those uh, oversized pendants that you might have at home, or if you have a cross or anything that you have at home. And they also are so brilliant. They are definitely standalone pieces. Those are those must be super popular in Chaco Canyon. They are, and especially for uh, the time and effort that is put into it. These are one of the most well-known necklaces throughout the Southwest. Aren't those beautiful? Yeah, it really is a, w a wonderful tradition. And wait till you get that home. I think uh, that's a great way to start your collection is with a really affordable, it's so big it's getting stuck on my ring. There we go. <laughs> you see all those little beads? Every single strand is actually hundreds of little beads. So how do they do that? By hand? <laughs> By hand, I tried it. It's very time consuming. <laughs> and you have to have a lot of patience uh, to do necklaces like this. So that's why you're here representing yes. the artists, not, not I'd rather talk them. about it than do it because they've <laughs> done this all their lives and, and for them it's a, a, a testament to their patience and you know effort in their culture. Uh, we have some great sale prices on those liquid silver necklaces for you. And they're also big customer picks, so rave reviews. Uh, to Im imagine that they're all made by hand is something I think is so impressive. And all these pieces are handmade. They're all handcrafted. All the turquoise is mined in the USA. They are made in the USA. So if you want to show your, your pride for your country and for your Native American peoples, this is a wonderful way to celebrate their traditions, their cultures, and really to keep their traditions alive. And I know that's something that's important to uh, many of your artisans, and they're still working with the next generation, yes. right? To continue <laughs> these to keep techniques. For them to hone in on their skills, hopefully their, the schooling that they have on the reservation will help them, you know, to promote their culture and to make it more, uh, to make it more interesting for them. So they're coming out with great designs and uh, appealing more to uh, different uh, aspects of their culture and other cultures as well. And so they like to input uh, on the people who receive their jewelry. You know, if you want to send a good thank you or say hello, you know, they're welcome for anything out on Chaco Canyon. Mm, isn't that wonderful? We get to we get to be a little part of yes. that uh, going forward. And this is a five stone turquoise cuff. Uh, their cuffs are probably, I would say, what you're most famous yes. for, most renowned. It's also one of the most symbolic pieces in Native American culture to wear a turquoise cuff. This one is in a class by itself. Look at the amount of artistry inside and out. It's actually stamped with the wonderful, fun, geometric, and sunburst, and beaded designs. And then the outside is also etched 
with those glorious sun ray effects. Then you have uh, more beautiful impressions here with the beading and the scalloping detail. And then you have these five beautiful brilliant stones that if you love this beautiful robin's egg blue color, this is the cuff for you. We have an event price for you. We have five flex pays for you. Those are monthly interest-free installments. So with those five flex pay, you never pay for it all up front. You make your first payment and then we ship it to you right away and you get to try it on for size. Uh, speaking of size, there are two sizes. There's a small medium that's gonna fit up to a seven inch wrist and there's a medium large that fits up to an eight inch wrist. Uh, but please know that behind every one of those cuffs is a nice amount of open space. And you can uh, adjust these slightly as you wear them, right? Yes. Give they, it a little squeeze. It's a little malleable um, on both sides. Uh, I have a larger wrist, and so the larger one fits me, but that could be used to, as a, to be a unisex cuff as well. Uh, the artist in here, his name is Gilbert Smith. He's very well known for his uh, heavy, heavy stamp work. And um, so uh, anything that he does, he puts a lot of time and effort into it to make it more meaningful to him because uh, what the, all the, a lot of the artisan's um, stamp work that is on there is the, each is their own. Either they make their own stamps or either it is given to them from their grandparents or different family members. Really? So that's sort of like their hallmark yes. or their calling card? Every different family has their own hallmark, just like the Zuni people as well. They have their own hallmarks on their jewelry, and so that's, uh, you know, their family Idea. emblem. Isn't that beautiful? That means no other artist is going to create just yes. the exact same stamp, the mm -hmm. decorative de detailing that's inside and out. I just think it's so beautiful. It is already a customer pick. If you've had a chance to read the reviews, you'll see why. Uh, everybody who gets this home has fallen in love with it. And each one, again, meticulously done by hand. The turquoise stones are brilliant and they're not small. If you want small pieces of turquoise, this is not the collection for you, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you want to blend in with the background, this is not the collection for you. If you want to go unnoticed, <laughs> Uh, this is not the collection for you. I mean, you know you know, if you love Chaco Canyon, you want big and you want bold and you want something just mesmerizing. This captivating blue turquoise here. The five stones are all exactly the same size. They're all 20 by 15 millimeters. And just to put that in perspective, we always measure stones in millimeters. That's gonna be about three fourths of an inch across. And then you'll see they're about half an inch in width. And then at the widest part, it's going to be over an inch all the way around the back. And again, two sizes. The small medium is going to fit up to about a seven inch wrist. The medium large is going to fit up to about an eight inch wrist. There's plenty of room to play. So if you want to wear it more open, you want to wear it more closed. Any special care that you recommend for our turquoise jewelry that we see in the show today? Uh, for um, like just to take care well, of it or clean it. Or... <laughs> for for me in my way, we uh, we wrap it in uh, the leather with a, a piece of foil. Um, but that's something that I've done since I was a kid that my grandmother used to do with her jewelry, um, just uh, uh, with um, with uh, like buckskin leather and just wrap our jewelry in that, and that's oh. how we keep our jewelry safe. But uh, but nowadays it's kind of different. <laughs> What if we don't have any buckskin at home? <laughs> um, actually, no, no, I don't have any. <laughs> you know what would be it fun? It sounds very unconventional, a lot of stuff that I do. It makes sense. Yes. Because it's very soft. Mm -hmm. It's protecting the stones. Yes. And probably also protecting the silver mm -hmm. from uh, getting that tarnish over time. But otherwise, just a soft cloth. A will, soft cloth will, will help, yes. Probably just clean it up. And, mm -hmm. and do keep your jewelry in a cool, dark place. That's always a great idea. And maybe next time you could bring some buckskin jewelry. Uh, buckskin, uh, buckskin uh, actually, jewelry. yeah, they're like de Bags. leather beaded pouches that I've had, oh, that's and a so that idea. we keep our. Well, I keep my jewelry mm -hmm. in. So next time I'll bring it next month, actually. Okay. Yes. <laughs> let's do, let's do that. Put me down for one buckskin bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you've got you've got one customer already. Oh, and my producer Catherine. I just love that idea because that's would carry carry on the tradition mm -hmm. of of the Southwest. And tell us about the importance of a turquoise cuff and why that's so symbolic in your culture. Uh, for the turquoise cuff, especially for Navajo men and women, they like to adorn themselves in, in turquoise from head to toe. And uh, if you look through different pictures throughout the Southwest, they'll have turquoise 
like as big as our hands. And uh, for them, it's their status symbol. It's what they believe in. Uh, it's what they. Uh, uh, it's what a lot of their memories come from. And so when you look at the, the sky stone, which is the turquoise, they say that they come from the from the stars. They call themselves the Dines. And so uh, the the stars are. They actually believe that their ancestors come from the stars. And so that's why turquoise is a big uh, symbolism within their culture. And let me show you the inside one more time, because again, this, this, this is the, the cuff that's full of surprises. On the inside, this is the only cuff like this the entire hour that is also done with that decorative stamping, which is again, that signature hallmark personal touch that's on every single single cuff that you're gonna find today. And even if you were to purchase two of these, no two will look exactly alike. No two stones will look exactly alike. However, they are beautifully matched. If you love that Sleeping Beauty color uh, in the cuff, you also might love it in my pick of the show for you, which I think is your perfect entry level item into the Chaco Canyon collection. And that's this ring, it's under one hundred dollars it is easily by far hands down the most affordable item in the show and it's worth every single penny to get genuine kingman turquoise and all precious metal solid sterling silver it's it's a really gorgeous display you have three of the oval stones they're all set sort of that east west design it's like knuckle to knuckle without being too big or too overwhelming it's definitely an eye catcher it's definitely a head turner and then it's a conversation piece right there you can get that home for less than twenty dollars so if you do one thing today if you're brand new to chaco canyon you want to experience this wonderful tradition of the southwest and celebrate the artisans of the native americans in the southwest from chaco canyon that's a great place to start so start with that ring and then then I think you might be uh, hooked for life. Okay, these earrings. Uh, talk about a red carpet pair of earrings. Uh, give us a little dish on those earrings, <laughs> Jennifer. The artist in here <laughs> is Jim Cymbalin. Um, I've mentioned him before that uh, his he's learned the art of silversmithing from his uncle. Uh, they, they come from the big silversmithing family from Running Bear, which is our sister trading post. And um, he is very master, he's mastered the art of silversmithing, as you can see here, the way the, sh the shape of the earring is. Uh, nature was a big inspiration for this earring. And uh, like as the sky gets uh, uh, energy from the plants, you can see that the, when the rain comes down, that the shape of the rain falls, you know, from big to, from big to small as they hit the ground. And so at the side of the earring, you see that the little striations that are on there, that's like the, the sun and the rain, you know, coming down on each other. So you can see the sparkling effect of it. And you're wearing those too. Yes. Those are so dramatic. Those are so <laughs> fabulous. Uh, those have sold out like twice before. So if you love those earrings, uh, jump right in. And a lot of you are already shopping with us. I have to announce our first sellout of the hour. We gave you a sneak peek at the ceremonial green necklace and you loved it, so congratulations. I have good news though, we have a matching ceremonial green turquoise ring that's all coming up next, so don't go too far. More of the Tucson Gem event continues. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should something go wrong. And portable electronics feature accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. Shop smart and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Last month on HSN, jean queen Diane Gilman sold her 10 millionth pair of jeans. It's my 25th anniversary this year. It's my 10 million jean celebration this year. And it's my return to health celebration. What more could a girl ask for? Now she's back with a brand new Today Special, a gabardine blazer you can dress up or down. Try the tailored look with Diane Gilman and DG2 Jeans. up and you're looking to impress your friends let me show you how to make this beautiful seafood boil using my durapan let's do seafood for the dinner party Shop like a VIP with the HSN credit card. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks, 
like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. largest loose gem show in the entire world. It's been going on for more than 60 years. I've been so thrilled to, uh, to join the Tucson Gem <laughs> event uh, for many, many years. I've, have you had a chance to go to Tucson? No, just the smaller ones that they have around. Yeah. And I never knew that was a, 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 the smaller version of the bigger version of the yeah. Tucson Gem <laughs> Show. It, it's getting bigger <laughs> and bigger every year. If uh, you ever have a chance to go to Tucson in February and you're a huge gem lover, if you're a huge jewelry collector, you will have a blast at the Tucson Gem event. We're bringing a little piece of the Tucson Gem Show to you today here at HSN. My name is Sarah, Jennifer Wan is here, and we're talking about this wonderful HSN exclusive collection called Chaco Canyon, where we celebrate both the Navajo and the Zuni tribe traditions of creating these beautiful handcrafted solid sterling silver and turquoise pieces. Each one is going to be custom made and it's going to be delivered right to your very own front door. So thank you so much for tuning in. You can give us a call if you have a favorite or if you want to share a story about maybe one of the rings or the cuffs or the necklaces that you've purchased in the past. They make wonderful gift ideas, whether you're treating yourself or a loved one. And also each one is full of stories and symbolism that have been passed down throughout the generation. So uh, Jennifer's here representing all of the artisans. We're gonna dive right into a Sleeping Beauty turquoise cuff. And it is one of the only Sleeping Beauty turquoise collections in the entire show. This is certainly one of the most revered, one of the most desired, one of the most sought after, and one of the most highly valued turquoise mines in the world today. It's called Sleeping Beauty. It's known for that pure, eternal, flawless robin's egg blue. You'll rarely see a matrix in the Sleeping Beauty turquoise, at least especially in the higher grades. This one has a really lovely style, kind of a, a fun little modern and contemporary spin on a classic turquoise cuff. You see 20 pieces of solid Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and that's all done on solid sterling silver in a nice wearable, simple band that wraps all the way around your wrist. It's gonna fit up to about a seven inch wrist, got lots of room to squeeze and play, uh, but this is really fun. I love this. It is. Tell uh, us about this one. What we're doing is we're venturing out into a different, uh, a different reservation, which is the Zuni Reservation. And uh, so uh, we're getting artisans from there and bringing them in and uh, showcasing their jewelry. Mm -hmm. And the artisan here, her name is Lucy Sheka. And when you look at this, uh, the, for the Zuni, they're well known for the needlepoint designs. Uh, but when you look at this from a different standpoint, as you've seen from the picture before, the, the, uh, the picture of the Southwest, you see the cactus, you see the mountains, and very little, do we rarely see the rain, but at the time that we do, we stand outside and look at the rain and just feel you know, the heavenly blessings from it. Because when you look at the water that is following on the ground, you see the water flowing through the rocks. And so when a person stands there, you got to uh, appreciate the, the, the rain that has come from the from the sky, and so that's where they get the inspiration from. Oh, it's so beautiful. I, <laughs> I can't take my eyes off this ring. Every time I look at it, I see this wonderful high polish of the solid sterling silver. I mean, it's really flashy. Some of the other pieces in the show are sort of, you know, done with a combination of the high polish with the oxidized sterling silver that sort of gives it that wonderful darker hue. This one is all about the shine of the silver. So it's got a lot of pop, it's got a lot of sizzle, and, and simply very wearable, and also keeps it affordable. So it's still under $200. It's brand new, you're seeing it here for the first time, $50 off our regular price. And because it's the last shows with our Chaco Canyon collection, you can uh, pick up that 
incredible five flex pay of less than $40 a month. So enjoy those five monthly payments. That'll be easy to get at home. And, and these you can't find anywhere else, right? No, uh, for, especially for the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, the mine's been closed for a while. And actually the mine is about a good 30 minutes from my reservation. So I grew up around Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And uh, if you've never seen Sleeping, the Sleeping Beauty mine, uh, what it is is that it's a big, beautiful mountain that looks like a woman lying on her back with her arms crossed on her chest. As the sun goes down, you can see the silhouette of the uh, Sleeping Beauty. That's why they call it Sleeping Beauty. It's so pretty. And there's something about that blue uh, that is so exquisite. Let me give you a full tour of this cuff one more time. And you can see that beautiful, brilliant blue color. If you love that turquoise blue, that robin's egg blue, if you love blue that doesn't have any interruptions, you won't see any of those traditional characteristics of the matrix. It's, it's just so pretty. So I know we only have 30 seconds left. And I'm just gonna give you a quick look here before we move on, but it's very flexible, very wearable. And there's that high polish. Look at how reflective that is. I mean, it's almost like a mirror. You can fix your lipstick, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, good idea. <laughs> if, you know, you never know when a girl needs a mirror, you gotta be prepared. And then you have those beautiful bars of Sleeping Beauty turquoise. They're done about a seven by one millimeter or an eight by one millimeter all the way around. Isn't that pretty and shiny and gorgeous? And also still very wearable. So if you like pieces that are a little bit uh, more understated, or if you just want options that are a little bit more tailored, more clean, more contemporary, more modern, I think you're just gonna be thrilled with that purchase. Such a great opportunity for you today. I'm gonna keep that on uh, my wrist. It's one of the only Sleeping Beauty turquoise items. Now I promised you a little more of the magnificent ceremonial green turquoise. Here it is. Do you see it's just a slightly different shade than some of the Kingman Mine turquoise that I'm wearing? This one is here. It is brand new at $199.90. Look at the size of that green turquoise. We'll also have some matching earrings for you as well. So th those are really pretty. Look at the beads that are all the way around the top. And then you have this beautiful twisted rope design all the way around the side. You've got the tapered shank, tons of solid sterling silver, and that's coming up. So if you want that kind of like right hand ring, that cocktail ring, that hello world, I have arrived ring. I think everyone should have like one signature ring, don't you think? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of fun to wear that power one big ring. ring. <laughs> a power ring, that, that's what I'm talking about. All right, uh, how about a power necklace? Well, if there is such a thing, I think I'm wearing it. I don't even know where to begin or how to describe it, but uh, give us a little a little taste of what this is all about, Jennifer. And this is the, uh, the uh, Chaco Canyon Naja uh, necklace, and it's squash bosh necklace, blossom necklace, actually, and it comes with this, the earring as well. And um, when you see this, you get the focal point there is that Naja that you see there, and that is a representation of uh, a woman, actually, uh, which is the moon. And they say when you look at her at night, you know, she steals your beauty away, and so you're not supposed to look at her that long. And so uh, this has many representations for the Navajo people, but in, in a sense, you know, that's it's a big, beautiful necklace. Oh, this is incredible. That is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, that's coming up next hour. It does have matching earrings. They're both on five flex pay, and we also have VIP financing for you as well on the necklace. It, it really is uh, only a few available, so only a select few, but if you have very discerning taste and you're looking for a one-of-a-kind collector's item from Chaco Canyon, it's that necklace. I don't think I'm gonna take it off, Jennifer. Okay, they might make <laughs> me take it off at security when I try to leave the building, but I'm gonna wear it until then. It's, it's just <laughs> glorious. Okay, uh, we've got some great earrings for you. We're gonna call these the turquoise rope frame earrings. Uh, I've been wearing these all hour. They're really wearable, they're really fun. If you love those boho styles, whether it's lace or whether it's denim, hey, you don't have to save these for a special occasion. Uh, they'll even go with your ripped jeans and your t-shirt. Very cool, very fresh, but also incredibly classic and timeless. If you don't have one great pair of turquoise earrings, uh, go ahead and scoop these up today. They're $169.90. Flex pays, those are down to less than $34 a month to get at home. Uh, a wonderful selection of the Kingman Mine turquoise. These are so beautiful, Jennifer. Uh, the, artist, the artist in here, his name is Greg Yazzie, and this is a represent, representation of a raindrop. 
And uh, for the different types of rains that are out there, you've got the thunderstorm rain, which is, represents the male rain. You know, it's very loud, you know, it's, it's forceful and you can hear it everywhere. And for the, for the softer rain, like the, like the light sprinkle, that represents the female rain on the other hand, which is gentle and has that soothing effect. In Navajo belief, there is a male and female to all things above around us and below us. And so for the Navajos, rain is one of our four main elements of earth, light, air, pollen, and others. Oh, I love that idea. So everything in nature has a male, male and female or effect. Female. Kind of like a yin and yang. Yeah. Yes. A perfect balance. Yes. And isn't this pretty? I love the wonderful elongated pear shapes uh, that sort of graduate in size. Uh, they look like they might be heavy, but I have to say they're really wearable. <laughs> I think they're perfectly balanced and proportions to frame your face just so beautifully. Uh, the length on those earrings is going to be... Let's see, I think just about, what did I say, about two inches top to bottom here? Uh, a little over two inches, but just just a hair more than, than two inches on those. And it's on five flex pay of less than $34 a month. So a really great opportunity for you. If you don't have great earrings, uh, you don't have to spend a fortune to have genuine turquoise and all precious metal. And I like how they face forward. I mean, you really you really get that wonderful, mesmerizing, intense blue color. Yes, and especially when it sways back and forth uh, for for men and women, uh, I was told that when you wear your, your earrings, as it sways back and forth that's the key piece to have your your mind and your body you know aware of what's around you and your, your wow. surroundings because if you don't have nothing that's pulling you back and forth you've got to you look around because in a sense a long time ago you had to be aware of your element you know and um, especially oh, if yes. you were uh, out in the desert you know there's something you could, that you hear from a, from a distance when you turn your head you know the earring kind of pulls you that way it's kind of like the honing you know, thing for your ears. Oh. And so uh, they, there are many different lures of jewelry from a long time ago, especially from high polished jewelry to like, like the very dark of, of the shadow box jewelry. So it makes you more right. aware of, of your surroundings. Of your surroundings. Yes. I love that idea. Well, everyone's <laughs> going to be aware of you when you walk into the room. Oh, I, yes. I mean, all eyes on you. And you know, whenever you're having a conversation with someone, it's earrings yes. that you really notice the most. Every time you turn your head, every time you laugh, every time you smile, every time you fix your hair or adjust your collar or throw your handbag on. I mean, people really look at your earrings. So uh, I would recommend, if you can, put your money where your ears are. Uh, you won't see them as much unless you're looking in a mirror, but it's really what everyone else notices about you. And if you have something that's really bright and bold and colorful and fun, I mean, instantly changes the outfit. Now, I am wearing a big necklace, but just to show you what it looks like without earrings, uh, the necklace is pretty, right? But you don't see anything up here. There's nothing that sort of draws the eye upward. When I add an earring on, let's see if I can do this live on television. I mean, look at the difference, right? I mean, that color. It's, yeah, it just sort of completes the whole look. You feel a little bit more finished, I think, a little bit more polished, sort of fully dressed, like, okay, now, now we can go places, right? I've got my earrings on. And when you have that color, turquoise goes with everything. I'll hopefully uh, show you in a few moments a, a few other colors that you can wear turquoise with. But it's, it's not just for summer anymore. No, this, this is a, is, this a is shade our, that you can wear with just about basically everything, Basically a native right? year-round diamond. And um, through, uh, Corals, it's, it's for every season, for every reds. color. Yeah, you could wear it even with uh, beautiful neutrals. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you want to go ahead and wear it with blues and greens, I was wearing it with a green here, or if you have it with a blue, I mean, really the possibilities are endless. And also just wear it with your, with your white t-shirt and your jeans. You can never go wrong. It, turquoise is sort of that a wonderful magic stone that seems to just go with, with everything in your wardrobe. So if your wardrobe needs a little pick me up, wear real turquoise and uh, I don't think you'll ever regret it. Okay, we've got another big cuff here for you. And this one is called the Three Stone Turquoise Cuff Bracelet. And this one has three beautiful stones. One will be a rectangular style in the center, and that's done in the 22 by 15 millimeter. And you have two triangular stones on the opposite sides, and those are about 17 by 17 millimeters. Ornate metal detail work, 
and those are decorated and engraved all the way around each one of those bezel set stones. And then look at the beautiful shank of that bracelet. It almost looks like a, a fleur-de-lis or a scallop or a shell, and then it tapers, so it's very wearable. Fits up to a seven and a half inch wrist. This is Again, Kingman Turquoise, that's mined in the USA. These are made in the USA. And we have a nice little price break for you today for our Tucson Gem event. You can get that home for less than $58. Uh, this is another really great striking representation of the turquoise cuff, which is what you are famous for. Yes. <laughs> well, the artist in here, his name is Raymond Yazzi. He's another relative of Greg Yazzi. So for our, our, our silversmithing family, there are different silversmiths that work with each other for a long time. They play off of each other's ideas and um, also promote other uh, artisans who want to learn come in. Mm. Uh, when I first went to Chaco Canyon, uh, the, the different, uh, the star uh, beading that you see on different yeah. the, uh, earrings, I, I've seen a, a former bull rider you know, try out uh, silversmithing, and um, he wanted to do something different, so the artisans were open to, to teaching him. And so, especially for the Hopi too as well, not the Hopi, the Zuni, they have their own schools for uh, for people who want to learn the art of silversmithing, so just to keep that within their culture. Mm -hmm. So just promoting that big idea of, uh, you know, silversmithing, you know, that'll continue to have us bring more jewelry to you at HSN. Because you don't want it to become a lost no. art form. No, you don't. Right? You don't want to lose this to time. You want yes. this to continue going forward. I think, you know, if you're a jewelry lover, if you love gemstones, if you love design, if you love fashion, uh, there's something about having genuine stones set in solid sterling silver that are still handmade. I mean, think about that. These aren't mass produced. There's no computer. There's no big factory. This is just a handful of artisans in the Southwest from Native American tribes that are creating these pieces with the same time-honored traditions that they've done for hundreds and hundreds of years. And then they're taking some of those new modern methods, they're incorporating them, so you have something that is wearable and something that I think will become one of your most prized possessions. This is really affordable in the world of turquoise and sterling silver. I mean, if you were to uh, shop at a a gallery, if you were to go to a boutique, uh, expect to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. $400, $500, that's what this has been appraised for and up. You know, I love going to museums and then going into the museum gift stores, but then the prices are always, you know, a little, <laughs> a little out of my league. But uh, this is something that is certainly, I think, uh, if you can, within your wherewithal, if you're looking for big statement pieces at affordable prices, I mean, it's just wonderful to see all that color. Yes, and especially when you look at the pictures of the artisans that, the different artisans that you see, uh, they're, they're not having, they don't have, you know, fancy machines. They've got t-shirts on, torn t-shirts, and you see the fingers, you know, you, it's, you have that grubbiness of the silversmithing that they work with, and they're very humble at what they do, and it took me about a good four to five years to meet them at first, because I didn't want to dishonor them by, you know, mis misrepresenting them, and when I first met them, they were really quiet. And then when we had lunch together, uh, they started slowly opening up and talking. And you know, it was, it was very, I was very humbled because a lot of them told me how they, you know, were brought up. And I brought, was brought up on the same type of reservation. And just to see them have that big pride and bringing it out to here to Florida and just to learn about each and every one of them and telling the people around us about you know, how they live and how they want to keep their culture going, you know, it's very, it's very satisfying to me, to me and to them to know that, you know, there's people out there that love their jewelry. And then also we can help support that community yes. mm -hmm. and help them raise their children yes. and send their children to school yes. and provide for their health mm -hmm. and their welfare. I mean, that's just a wonderful <laughs> way of giving back, yes. right? And if you uh, want to send that love back into the communities, this is a wonderful way to become a part of something bigger uh, than some mass marketed brand. It's not made overseas, it's right here in the USA. So add that to your order again, that fits up to about a seven inch wrist easily. and. Again, all made in the USA, that's brand new. So I would hate for you to miss out on that piece. Now we've got a lot more fun in store for you. In fact, this is one of my all time favorites. The ceremonial green necklace did sell out, uh, but I have good news. We have the ceremonial green turquoise ring available for you. I'm going to wear two, just so you can see that each and every single stone, if you were to order several of these today, will be slightly different. And that's that's the magic. That means no two rings will be exactly alike. It's gonna be one of a kind, just like you are. 
you're one in a million and your ring should be too. This is the ceremonial green turquoise ring. It's here today at an event price of $199.90. An incredible amount of silver and then a splendid center stone here that is incredibly large. That's going to be, let me give you the dimensions on that center stone, 35 by 15 millimeters. And then it's all bezel set. It's elongated in its design. Let me measure that for you so you can imagine what it's like to wear this piece. Uh, but yet still very comfortable and balanced on the finger. It's gonna be a little over an inch and a half in length, right? Yeah, almost two inches. I'm gonna say just shy of two inches. So very impressive. And I'll slip one off for you to show you how much silver there is on the back. Check that out. And then this band that tapers all the way around. This is a wonderful, wonderful piece. Tell us about green turquoise and where it comes from and why they decide to work with green turquoise on occasion. That's such a pretty color. The artist in here is Jimson Blen, and he made this ring for the representation of the four, the four different directions, which is the north, east, south, and west. And it's a representation of uh, the four peaks on the, uh, uh, on the Navajo Reservation, which is the Hesperus Peak, Blanca Peak, uh, the San Francisco Peak, and um, Mount Taylor. And it's a representation also of the different clans and the different uh, 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 types of days, which is, a, uh, which is night. You have the dawn, you have the day, and you have the dusk. And the four different uh, sacred colors, which are black, white, blue, and yellow. How about that? That's beautiful. I mean, almost each design is almost like a poem. Yes, yes. The, the story mm -hmm. and the wonderful, incredible descriptive words behind each one. Uh, when you wear a piece like this, you feel the difference. I, I would say you feel the human energy and the spirit mm -hmm. and the passion and the love that, that went into every piece. You know you're wearing something different and unique. Look at the amount of detail here. It's a great shot, guys. You can really see the amount of silver work. But these are those famous star shapes that you talked about earlier. And each one of those beads is applied by hand. Yes, and so for the Navajo people, they say they come from the, the stars. And so they call themselves the Diné. And so the, an they, the ancestors, which come from the sky, you have the sky stone, so you have the, the representation of the blue, you have the green stone, which is the ceremonial uh, stone for, the, for many so different uh, sacred ceremonies as well. It is so gorgeous. And then you have these wonderful little scalloped edges. Do you see those sort of like half moon shapes that also frame that stone so beautifully? Those are all applied by hand, so it adds to the texture, it adds to the intrigue. And every time you look at this ring on your hand, I know you're gonna say to yourself, I am so glad I got that ceremonial green turquoise. Notice this one is going to be different. And I don't know if Laura has a sample of this on too, uh, but she, yeah, she'll wear one that will have a little different fingerprint. And that means you know you're getting real turquoise. Yes. This is not reconstituted turquoise. This is not repurposed. This is not, sometimes turquoise can be actually reduced to a fine powder and then rebuilt and they'll even claim that it's genuine turquoise. This is a, a one unique stone that must have had to begin as a much larger stone. Oh yes, and what they what they do with their, their the pieces of turquoise that they have, they have to work within their meaning, means because they have to make each and every piece you know connect because that's uh, basically throwing away income for their family. And so uh, when you have what, what you see there is what, what is what they have to work with. Oh, it's just so incredible. I, I can't wait for you to get home this green turquoise. It's also from the Kingman Mine, which is one of the oldest mines. It's one of the famous mines. It has rich deposits, and it's famous also for their incredible range of colors. So you will see everything from the green turquoise to the deep blue at the Kingman Mine, and I think you're gonna be so thrilled when you get that home. Love, love, love that green turquoise ring. Uh, by the way, if you're shopping for my necklace, there's one there's one special lady out there that's getting it on my necklace. Uh, but I do want to remind you about this beautiful cuff. We gave you a sneak peek at it earlier. Uh, but if you want to dive right in, it has been one of our most popular. If you want one of the most ornate, one of the most decadent, one of the most intricate, and one of the most fabulous cuffs of the hour, uh, this is it. It almost has a little vintage flair as well. And I think it's the oval stones. I think it's the extra amount of detail, the scalloped edges. I don't even know where to begin on this design, Jennifer. So help us out and give us a little bit of the backstory. 
This artist in here is uh, Emerson Del Garrito. He's uh, one of our, our our best master, like over the top silversmiths. <laughs> um, I had I was I've been honored to meet him and many different artisans. Uh, he's been working with us since he was about 20 years old, and so he's had uh, a lot of different. Uh, uh, People work with him, but for him, he's been a teacher to a lot of silversmiths out there, and so there, there he is right there. Uh, he is born from the red, uh, red running into the water clan from his mother's side, and from the sage breast clan from his father's side. He's 62 years old and learned the art of silversmithing from his family, and so he says by observing other silversmithing people and family members, what he likes to do is mm -hmm. to <laughs> to uh, promote his culture uh, through, throughout uh, other different artisans. That's really fantastic. I was just trying to find my notes. I can give you the size of that stone because I think it's the biggest single piece of turquoise in the entire hour, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, here it is at 36 by 24 millimeters. Uh, to put that in perspective, uh, just shy of two inches top to bottom. And then of course, it's gonna be nice and wide and bold at one inch. And then you have the two beautiful stones that anchor that center stone. That's a 13 by 10 millimeter. You have the star beads and look at how these are applied. Again, they're three dimensional. They're applied one at a time all the way around that beautiful rope twist design. And this one is also textured. You see that wonderful, amount of detail. And then the background, you notice a little bit of that black background? That's the oxidation that adds, I think, a lot of depth and intrigue to the piece. And then you have the scalloped edges here, more of those star-shaped beads here. It's beautiful, the rope twist design that wraps all the way around and very wearable and adjustable. So we do have, a, I think we still have two sizes in this bracelet. We have a small medium that fits up to about a six and a half inch wrist. And then we have the medium large that fits up to at least a seven and a half inch wrist. Okay, uh, that wraps up our first hour of Chaco Canyon, but there's good news. We've got one more hour together to be our last hour of Chaco Canyon during our Tucson Gem event. And boy, we have saved tons of brand new designs 